hello and welcome to the new video this is part 3 and if you have not watched our previous video you can refer our playlist and for all the resources you can check our official website tech cloud solution link is in the comment section question number 24 and it has the images you can click on the image so we have text at lab network 1 and 2 and the IP addresses is given as 10.10.10.0 slash 24 and for the network 2 the IP address is 172.16.0.0 slash 16 then the virtual networks have the following subnets uh, then we have subnet 1121 and 22 address space is given and the location is given under network 1 network 2 and network 2 then we have text lab dash production has the following virtual network text lab network and the address space is given as 10.10.120 at dot 0 617 under canada central then this network contains the following subnets we have text lab subnet a1 and the address space is given then we have text lab subnet a2 and the address subnet is given now the question it has a company currently has two azure subscription techset lab dash staging and techset lab dash production techset lab dash staging has the following virtual networks can you establish a peering connection between techset lab network 1 and techset lab network a and the options are true and false so the correct answer is true since the address space for the virtual networks don't overlap, you can establish a peering connection between both virtual networks. Question number 26, the scenario is same and the question it says, can you establish a site-to-site -site VPN connection between Techset Lab Network 1 and Techset Lab Network 2? The options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. The virtual network Techset Lab Network 1 does not have sufficient address space to create a gateway subnet and to establish a site to site VPN connection you need to have a gateway subnet in place. Question number 27 A company has an Azure subscriptions and an Azure tenant named TechsetLabs.onMicrosoft.com the following users are defined in the tenant name role and scope so techset lab user 1 it is global administrator under microsoft intra id then we have techset lab user 2 global administrator microsoft intra id then we have techset lab user 3 the role is user administrator under microsoft intra id then Techset Lab User 4 Owner under Azure Subscription. The user Techset Lab User 1 now goes ahead and creates a new directory named staging.techsetlabs.onmicrosoft.com. New users now need to be created in the new tenants. The company asks Techset Lab User 3 to create the user accounts. Would this fulfill the requirement and the options are true and false so the correct answer is false so the users would only be the user administrator for the current directory in order to add users to the new directory the main users needs to be given the required role in the new directory question number 28 the scenario is same the question it says the company asks Techset Lab users 2 to create the user's account. Would this fulfill the requirement? The correct answer is false. So the explanation is same as the users would only be the global administrator for the current directory. In order to add users to the new directory, the main users need to be given the required role in a new directory. Question number 29 
this is also the same scenario and the question it says the company asked Techsert lab user 1 to create the user account for this fulfill the requirement and the options are true and false so the correct answer is true so since this is the user has the global administrator role and has created the new directory the users would have the required permission to create new users in the directory question number 30 a company has an azure subscription that contains the following resource groups so name lock name and lock type is given takes that labs dash rg1 lock name is none and lock type is none then we have takes that labs dash rg2 lock name is takes that lab lock one and it has delete lock now the resource group takes that labs dash rg1 contains the following resources name type lock name and lock type is given we have takes that lab store 2090 that is storage account and the lock name is takes that lab 2 and delete the lock type is delete then we have takes that lab network that is virtual network and the lock name is takes that lab lock 3 and it has read only lock type then we have takes that lab ip public ip address no lock name and no lock type the question it has would you be able to move the resource takes that lab ip from the resource group takes that labs dash rg1 to takes that labs dash rg2 and the options are true and false so the correct answer is true so the explanation is as to determine whether you can move the resource takes that lab ip from the resource group takes that labs dash rg1 to rg2 we need to analyze the resource logs applied to both resource groups and the specific resource now for the resource groups it contains three resources that is storage account takes that lab store 2090 it has a delete log then we have takes that lab network has a read only log and takes that lab ip no log for the resource group takes that lab dash rj2 it has a delete log now moving resources in azure so in azure when moving resources between resource groups the following rules apply regarding logs if the destination resource group has a delete log it prevents any resources from being deleted from that group however it does not prevent moving resources into it if the source resource group has a read only log on any of its resources that might restrict modification but since takes that lab ip has no logs it can be moved the absence of logs on the resource itself means there are no restrictions on modifying or moving the resources hence you would be able to move the resource takes that lab ip from the resource group takes that labs dash rg1 to rg2 question number 31 the scenario is same and the question it has would you be able to move the resource takes that lab network from the resource group takes that labs dash rg1 to dash rg2 and the options are true and false so the correct answer is false so the explanation is same as given in the previous question so moving to the next question question number 32 a company current has a set of azure virtual machines they want to ensure that their it administrative team is alerted if any of the virtual machines are shut down they decide to create alerts in the service health service for this fulfill the requirement and the options are true and false so the correct answer is false so the service health service is used to inform users on the health of all azure based services question number 33 a company current has a set of azure virtual machines 
they want to ensure that their IT administrative team is alerted if any of the virtual machines are shut down. They decide to create alerts in the Azure Advisor service. Would this fulfill the requirement? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. So the Azure Advisor service is used as a recommendation engine and can't be used to record activities for the virtual machines. Question number 34. A company current has a set of Azure virtual machines. They want to ensure that their IT administrative team is alerted if any of the virtual machines are shut down. They decide to create alerts based on activity logs in Azure Monitor. Would this fulfill the requirement? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is true. So the activity log service is used to record all control plane activities. You can then create alerts based off the activity logs. Question number 35. A company has the following resources deployed to their Azure subscription. The virtual machines TechSet Lab VM is currently in the running state. The company now assigns the below Azure policy. The not allowed resources types are Microsoft.network slash virtual networks, Microsoft slash compute slash virtual machines. Would an administrator be able to modify the address space of TechSet Lab dash VNet2? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. So since there is a policy in place which does not allow any actions on virtual networks, you will not be able to make any changes to the virtual network. Question number 36. The scenario is same and the question it has would an administrator be able to move the virtual machines to another resource group named TechSet Lab dash staging? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is true. Since the policy is only applied to the resource group TechSet Lab dash RG and not TechSet Lab dash staging, you can move the virtual machines to that resource group. So here we end the third part of the video and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning.